Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, the new features of WordPress final release, WordPress 4.0 or WordPress Penny. Uh, there are some new features and there are some features that um, brought back from the previous version to WordPress 4.0. So let's get started. First, the installation screen. So when you want to install WordPress, first you're going to see the language options which was already seen in uh, beta version. So as you can see, you have many language that you can uh, choose here before you install WordPress. So let me choose the English United States language and hit continue and quick installing it. So here we are in WordPress 4.0. As you can see, we can take a look here in at a glance box. We are running WordPress 4.0 using 2014 theme. Also, you can scroll down and in the right corner of your screen, you are using the version of WordPress and if you s want to see what is WordPress 4.0, you can go to uh, the wo uh, WordPress icon on the top and then click on About WordPress. Here you see you will be welcome in the uh, WordPress 4.0 welcome page to have what's new, credits and freedoms and any infos which is related to the WordPress 4.0 penny. So let's go to the second new features here. So we go to the setting and general and we're going to scroll down. As you can see now, I have site language here, which I actually can choose the language of uh, what I can have. Now, you might not see this site language option if you never install uh, WordPress to this site using other language other than English United States. So because I've already installed uh, WordPress in this site with, with these two languages, I can see the two other uh, language here. The next is we go to media and library. Here in the WordPress 4.0, you can see that you can scroll your media here and then, or you can switch and switch back and forth from list view to the media grid. And in the media grid uh, icon, you will have the book select here. And if you uh, click on one of them, it will bring you to the to the one image and you can edit image from here. Also the arrow button on the top there, you can also go from one image to another using that arrow button or just using arrow in your keyboard key in your computer. And uh, the book select is also there. So if you click on that and select uh, many of them that you like, you can do that here. Okay, so the next feature is the uh, plugin look. So we go now to plugins and add new. So here in the plugins and add new page, you will see the new look with the pl plugin page. You will see here there are ratings, uh, how many download it has and many info and even the last updated and the compatibility uh, info and install now and more details and the creator of the plugin all you can uh, view here and this is the old look with the WordPress add new plugin as you can see it has list and no pictures but uh, in the WordPress 3.9 the previous version if you click on details it will show uh, the info but not so complete like in WordPress 4.0 so in WordPress 4.0 if we click on more details you will see exactly uh, the page in WordPress uh, plugins directory. So you will see reviews here and uh, any other info, exactly the same page like in WordPress uh, plugin directory page. So that was the uh, fourth feature, new feature of WordPress 4.0. And then the next is the post editor. So if we go to post and add new here, so let's uh, create new post here, post number one, for example, and then um, I'm going to paste in here and there it is. Now we have a long post, so we want to have a long post. And we could do put the screen option and put everything here, check everything that we have in our post editor. So there it is now. Uh, I also want to toggle this toolbar toggle. So now if I scroll down, I will have only one scroll bar here in the right side. 
it has no scroll bar here like in the previous version because as you notice that the text editor is uh, stick there on the top and if I scroll down the text just move and the uh, toolbar area will stay there until I reach in the bottom. Now there is also a small feature here in uh, screen option that you can choose uh, regarding your post editor. So if you click again on screen option, you will see that there is a expand the editor to match the window height. So before I uncheck that, I will show you what it is. So in the previous version, you will see here resize button that you can resize back and forth. And now it's disabled by default, but however, you can uh, enable it again. So if I uncheck that and then collapse back again the screen option, and then I now scroll down again to the bottom. As you can see, now I have the two scroll bar as long as I'm moving my cursor. So actually the post editor is not fixed that way. It's flexible, however, which one that you want to choose. So it has also the resize uh, uh, feature there. So you can always resize your uh, text editor now, but I noticed that it doesn't resize the width. So let me uh, resize my window yeah it doesn't resize the width it just resize the height so you can uh, resize it to the bottom and the previous version you can actually resize to that uh, the right side so the width uh, point of view so the width view so that is actually the new features in uh, post editor so you're going to check and check these options if you are used to uh, WordPress older versions post uh, editor and the next feature is uh, the widget appearance I mean widget uh, in customizer so appearance and customize now as you can see there is no widget area because in the widgets now it has its own uh, tab here so in the older version you will see the left side bar right side bar here under the featured content but in WordPress 1.0 you can go to widgets and or click that arrow and then it will show you the all of the widgets that your theme has and once you've done that you can then switch back to the customizer and click any uh, saving work so for now I'm just clicking on that cross button because I don't want to save anything so the next feature is uh, the next new feature is the embedding video so let me now go to my uh, YouTube channel so there it is now I have one of my video and let's say now I want to uh, share this video into my post uh, Note that it's not only YouTube it can be any uh, embedding code as long as this uh, site support or embed for WordPress. So we go now to share and uh, we go now to share this URL, copy this URL and then I go back to post and then uh, I will I will go and I will paste this uh, YouTube URL in the visual tab and then I'm just hitting enter and paste that and it will be uh, loading and showing the preview of what you embedded. Actually in the older version when you are on visual tab and you uh, paste it here even though it will work in front end but it will not show you the preview here in your post editor so that is the new uh, the new feature in WordPress 4.0. Also if you add media and insert from URL and you're going to paste uh, the YouTube or anything or any image it will show you the preview here and in the past it just uh, showing the image but not uh, the video I'm just going to insert for post for now so I'm just going having to have the two videos for now it's okay I'm just going to update it and the next feature is the um, theme preview so let's let's go to appearance and then uh, themes now as you can see I'm using the 2014 the default theme and let's say now I want to add new theme so I'm going to add new and I'm going to popular tab here and uh, let's look where which theme that I haven't installed that I like say now I want to install responsive so I'm going to click on details and preview now as you can see it has the preview immediately and it has the arrow so in the past you will have to close this and uh, look for the other theme but now in WordPress 4.0 you can switch to the other theme with this arrow button and go 
next again but now I'm just let's say okay I really like the previous theme so I go to the arrow which is showing the previous theme and it will show you back and forth so once you're ready you can install now but for now I'm just going to hit close because it was just uh, showing how uh, the theme preview work with the arrow navigation for now and the next is the again in the post editor so I'm just going to go to uh, my post and sorry my post and all post just going to edit the post that I've just created and here uh, you can uh, change the uh, font color to any custom color so if I go to this text color icon I choose on custom and it will show me the custom color that I just can drag and drop and choose it so say now I'm just going to choose any dark blue here or light blue and hit OK and I have it in the older version uh, of WordPress so 3.9.2 if I just uh, go there and if I click on text color it just show me the uh, solid built-in color so it doesn't show me the custom color so that's it uh, now it's back the uh, custom color which actually not really new features of WordPress because it did uh, exist in the older versions but now it's bring back here to WordPress 4.0 so that's it guys the 11 new features that I've found in uh, WordPress 4.0 so let me know uh, your feedback or what you uh, find that I haven't mentioned in this video and thank you so much for watching this video please like if it was um, uh, useful for you and take care of yourself see you in the next video goodbye